Okay, welcome back. I'm Beth. And today I'm going to be doing my January haul video. This one is actually kind of small, so I will be combining my um, art supplies and my books. So I have my big book of color charts and let's get started. First up I have my bingo daubers and these were advertised as being neon color. Um, they are not neon. If we take a look here So they're not neon, they're not sparkly, they are not very good, but, well, let me take a look. I did do a swatch, 218, and here we go. Zoom in a little bit. So these are the ones that I just got. And they're pretty plain. I like my previous ones that I had. They have a little bit of glittery shine. Whereas these are very matte. So there's a place for them, but... I don't know. I would have liked more like this. But there we go. Those are those. And I got these. The Gold Faber from Faber Castell. Now, I forget who it was I saw who were using these. I did comment on their post. If you're watching, please remind me who it was that uh, enabled me to try these out. There's 48 of them. It's studio quality, which means it's a student brand. A little bit on the cheap side. They come with a number but not a name. Their name is on their um, little advertisement page. So I did do a swatch. Let's take a look at that. And here that is. I will be doing a um, separate uh, video on doing the swatch. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm not going to really be doing a whole lot of talking about it. It's just, uh, there it is. Actually, I was pleasantly surprised at how well they cover. They're very soft. They feel nice in my hand. And um, I'm looking forward to trying um, a page with them because you really can't judge a pencil until you've colored with it. Alrighty, and that is everything I need this book for. So let's get that out of the way. The other thing I got was glow-in-the-dark powder. It is water-based, UV light charging, and I haven't done any swatches with this stuff yet. The uh, 
The little pamphlet is remarkably short of information. And comes with a little UV flashlight, but it doesn't tell you what kind of battery it takes. And I am assuming, does it want to unscrew? There we go. I am assuming it's a double A. Oh, does that say what it is? Yeah, double A, okay. So that should be good. Comes with 10 colors. And you're supposed to add some to paint. And uh, paint, charge it, and it glows in the dark. I have not tried them yet, but I will be soon. And I'll let you know how that works out. They don't really fit their box. It's very weird. Okay. And that is all my art supplies. Now, the books. I have three books today. We have Soar by Karen Su Chen. And... It was interesting to me. Kind of on the large side. But overall, I think I'm going to enjoy doing this book. The type of bird that it is, is on the back of the page. It is one-sided. Page is kind of cheap, the paper. But, you know, just stick a page in between and any wet medium should be fine. So, yeah. Looking forward to trying this one out. Now, I discontinued my um, subscription to Coloring Haven, but I keep getting these. So I'm going to have to double check on that. Can you even see this whole thing? Wow, not really. Okay, so Gods and Goddesses by Jashley. So, I like the line work. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just really not that into people. I like this one because of the cats, but I don't know. You might like it. And I have got Fairytopia, a special. And if you like the bug-eyed girl's look, you might like this. I'm not going to make any friends by saying it makes me think of spiders. Those eyes are just so mm, over the top. I don't find them pleasant. So, that's that. And that is everything I have gotten in the month of January. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And hi to all my new subscribers. You are appreciated. Thank you so much. Y'all have a nice day and I'll see you later. Bye.